Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a complete Brand24 tutorial. The social media listening tool that helps you track mentions, measure sentiment, spot trends, and find influencers across the web and major social platforms. If you would like to test the platform out as I explain in this video, feel free to navigate to the link in the description below this video. It will take you straight to the sign up, so use it to grab the free trial and follow along. Now, what does Brand24 actually do? Think of Brand24 as your radar. You add the words and brands that you care about, your company, competitors, products, hashtags, and then it continuously scans the web and social networks for new mentions. After that, it organizes everything into one workspace where you can see how much you're being talked about, so the volume and your reach, how people feel about it, the sentiment, where conversations happen, so the sources, who matters most with the influencers, and it sends alerts when something spikes, whether it's good or bad. This is perfect for brand monitoring, competitor analysis, campaign tracking, crisis detection, and influencer outreach. Now for getting started after you sign up and create your account, you will land on create a project. You want to give it a name, for example, Nike versus Adidas, and then you can add keywords. This is where most people either get tons of noise or not enough mentions. So for example, you want to use a quick pattern, for example, the core keyword, your brand name, and clear variations. So it would be Nike or Nike Air, and then your site or ad handles if relevant. Second would be the competitors or the adjacent brands such as Adidas, Puma, etc. And then we have campaign or product tags. This is optional, but you can add a hashtag or product line or event code name. After that, you have the language plus location, so you can choose English or your market language. You can layer different languages later. And finally, we have the exclusions, which is super helpful. You can remove common false positives. You can add terms to the exclude list. For example, if your brand name is also a person's name or a sports name. You hit create and then Brand24 will start pulling historical and fresh mentions. You will see the numbers fill in over the next few minutes. Now, when your project opens, you will land on the dashboard or the summary. This is where your is anything happening view will look like. You will see the mentions volume and the reach. The blue line is the mentions and then the other line is the reach that help you spot spikes as a sudden jump means a trend or a problem. The sentiment split will be positive, neutral, or negative. You can hover to see the counts. If negative ticks up, you can click through to investigate. And then we have the sources breakdown. This is where the conversations live. You will see X or Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Reddit forums, news, blogs, and all of that stuff. This tells you where to focus engagement. You'll also be able to view the top keywords or the context, so the words most commonly appearing with your brand. And this is great for understanding themes and potential SEO or content angles. And finally, we have the influencers and the authors where you can see who's moving the conversation. You will see profiles, estimated reach, engagement, and an influencer score. A tip I would give you is that you can find the date range and set it to last seven days for heartbeat, last 30 or 90 days for trend. Next up, you want to jump into the mentions, and this is the live feed of individual posts, articles, comments, basically everything. You may use the filters to get signal, for example, the sentiment, so you can start with negative ones to triage the issues, and then positive ones to find testimonials and UGC that you can ask to repurpose. A source one is where you can choose the channels that matter to you the most, like TikTok or YouTube if you are DTC, or a news plus blogs for PR. For language and location, you can narrow it down to your market, and then for the required keywords or the exclusions, you can tie it in the context. For example, must include shipping or exclude vintage if it skews results. Open up any mention to see the details, link out to the original, and then tag it with support or feature request, or assign it to a teammate. You can also save the filters if you want to, for example, the crisis triage or UGC hunts or competitor complaints. One click and then you will be in the right view every single morning. Now for the analysis and the benchmarking, this is how you can turn the noise into decisions. You can head to the analysis section for the high level story. This is where you can view the volume and the reach trends. You can show if campaigns are working or if word of mouth is heating up. And then we have the sentiment over time. So you can see whether a product update helped, did a shipping issue hurt, you'll see all of it here. You'll also be able to view the most active sources as you can double down on what's driving the reach and the most engaging mentions and authors, which is a short list of where to engage or who to pitch. If you want to compare other brands, you can add each competitor as a separate project. 
Basically repeat the work that you did for your own company or your own brand and then flip between dashboards or export both to compare the volume, reach and sentiment within the two slides. Finally, we have the influencers and the authors who actually move the needle. The influencers tab ranks the profiles and the sites by impact. So dimensions, reach, engagement and an internal score. You can skim through the top list for creators repeatedly talking about your space niche accounts with strong engagement, not just a big follower count, and the past advocates. You will be able to recognize all of the friendly names. Click through to see their posts and decide whether to engage publicly, gift them a product, or even pitch a partnership. Now under the reports, you can schedule exports stakeholders understand. So a PDF weekly summary for leadership, which is the volume, reach, top wins or risks, and then a CSV for mentions for your social or support team, or a monthly brand versus competitor slide for marketing reviews. You can set it to auto send to emails on a schedule, which saves a lot of time. Here are some tips to avoid common mistakes. For example, you don't want to start with one generic keyword. You want to include variations and misspellings. Otherwise, you will miss half the conversation. Also, use exclusions early. If your brand name is also a common word or a person's name, you want to exclude that noise on day one. And finally, act, don't just observe. You want to tag, assign, reply, report. Social listening pays off when you close the loop. So with that, we'll have reached the end of today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead, create a clean project, dial in keywords, use mentions with smart filters, watch trends in analysis, and find the humans who matter in influencers. And finally, automate reports so the whole team stays aligned. If you want to test this platform out, go ahead and grab it through the link in the description below this video and create your first project right now. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know if you have found it to be helpful and informative to watch. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.